should be a good one. First for the Bucks. And inside out of Stanford University, a skilled post scorer with tremendous size, the seven footer, Brooke Lopez. Then it's Chris Middleton, and it's Andy DeCumbo in at the four spot. And for the Celtics, Brown the pass to Holiday. Inside, and he goes strong with the one handed jam. His eyes just simply light up when he gets that close to the bucket. And you just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Guys, the Celtics went from being a powerhouse in the east to middle of the pack last season, but they still protected their home court as well as anybody. Easy to find inspiration here with the parquet floor under your shoes and the banners hanging over top. Here's White, following the score by Damian Lillard. Tatum, and he hits the jump shot. He's so reliable. You know, his offense seems to be consistently there for this team. And Lillard gets to Middleton. A three-pointer is right on target. You do have to love the parquet floor here, as you said, Clark. The pride certainly a factor last season as the Celtics were able to finish the with a 27-13 and 13 record here at their home. And even though the Celtics would end up just as the seventh seed in the East, you knew they would control their home floor but just because of their veteran experience, their talent, their coaching. So they were really, really able to, to ride that home court into the playoffs. I got to put that turn to simple rebound into a highlight play. He assaulted the glass for right, then assaulted the rim. Yeah, now that's getting the job done on the boards. Here's one of them, and another basket for Milwaukee. The Celtics have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Tatum defended by Andre Tacumbo. Tatum. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Five points in the game. Well, you know, when they need a big three, he's the guy they look to. He's about as reliable a deep threat as, as you're going to find. And Steve, you know, his ability to come in and rattle off 10, 20 points in no time flat, that's a gift and a real asset for any team. Some guys need a while to get going, not him. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Now, Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when we spoke just a few minutes ago. He told me they'll be looking to stretch the opposing defense and open things up by using their ability to knock down long-range shots. Success from the perimeter will translate to success on the inside. Those were his words to me, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Doris. I definitely can appreciate their approach with the three ball. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. I think both teams feel like they can win. They both have confidence. Uh, so we'll see which team can kind of ride the momentum and take control of this game. And Middleton kicks to Lillard. On the pass to Andre Jacumbo. Dishes to Lopez. Wide on him. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Kept alive. The shot's good from Andre Jacumbo. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Tatum defended by Andre Jacumbo. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Well, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. A platoon swap here for Milwaukee. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Well, after a brief two-year drought, the Bucks got back to the playoffs this past season, but it wasn't pretty once they got there. With several guarantees from players about upsetting the Heat, they didn't win a single game and were swept by the Miami Heat. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Back to the Bucks in the playoffs. In every aspect, they were overmatched by the Heat, and no one really thought they would upset them. But many thought, Steve, that they would at least get a game. Well, I wasn't one of them, Kevin. <laughs> I thought they were overmatched from the start. And you could tell in that series, Miami wasn't even interested until the fourth quarter. They knew they could just flip a switch and beat this Milwaukee team. And that's exactly what they did. The 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, you know, last season, I think, officially brought the immediate championship aspirations of the Celtics to a close. The seventh seed in the East, dispatched in the first round by the Knicks. The rebuild was on in full cycle. Here's Crowder. Here's Payne. Passes it to Crowder. Shot clock at six. And again, the Bucks miss. And back to the Celtics, making the playoffs, sure. But, you know, not like Steve back in 08 or 2010. Well, this has been a phenomenal era, you know, with KG and Pierce that is now a thing of the past. But, but look, they've hoisted a championship banner very close to another. But it's just time to move on. And, and that's just the way it is in the NBA. These things go in waves. And the Celtics now in rebuilding mode. Austin with the ball. After the main shot from Payne, he feeds it to Horford. Celtics passing it around. Hazard. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Here's Payne. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Bucks lead by three. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats -wise? Yeah, this team played an excellent first quarter offensively, moving the ball and getting a good flow to their offense. That's why you see those big assist totals. Yeah, very timely passing for them, Steve, and that's why they've been able to jump out to this lead. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, Jared Jack might have the largest collection of basketball shoes in the league with over 1,500 pairs. He said, I remember when I had a condo in one city and I didn't have many places to put them, so I started putting them in cabinets. You'd go into the kitchen to get a cup and there'd be shoes in there. He says that once his playing days are over, he envisions future endeavors in sneaker design. Guys, he's following his passion. Interesting. Thanks, Doris. Brooke Lopez has checked in for the Bucks. Onda Takumbo comes in for Jay Crowder. You know, the Bucks were the last team to make it into the Eastern Conference playoffs, and part of the reason that happened was because they didn't really do well against the rest of the conference. 24 and 28 against the East. Lopez passes to Payne. Here's Hall Chan. Knocks down the three ball. Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Clark, as you were saying, the rest of the Eastern Conference got the better of the Bucks. Had they been a little tougher against some of the lesser teams in their own conference, they might not have had to deal with the Heat in the first round of last year's playoffs. Well, the Bucks tried to mix things up last year. Remember, they made the big trade at midseason, too, going for J.J. Reddick and moving on from some of the young players. And I think that changed. And, of course, the, the coaching switch from Scott Skiles to Jim Boylan. So they, they lost some of their momentum. Middles in the pass to Payne. Lopez a screen on Howard. Here's Payne. On deep. And it's White with the rebound. Pass to Brown. To White. Outside Holiday. Intercepted. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Holiday with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And the Bucks making a change here. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Lillard with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Trying to get open is Lopez. The shot's good from Andy Takumbo. Yeah, they're going to need some help there defensively. That matchup is going to be a tough one to deal with. I got him! Tatum defended by Andy Takumbo. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Hey, yo, Brooke, 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 Brooke. 
Kicks it to Lopez. He dishes it to Lillard. Six to shoot. On dead to Kumbo. In low, and that one's good. And it's a seven-point Milwaukee lead. Looked like the defense kind of backed off him, and he took advantage. Outside, White. Lopez with the steal. One forty-nine left here in the second. Here's Ande Takumbo, right covering. No good from Ande Takumbo. Well, he won't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Though. Well, you know the Bucks thought they had a plan to make a big push forward by pairing some talent together in the backcourt. But what seems to have happened is they are now mired in mediocrity, which is exactly where you don't want to be. A strong off the offensive rebound. What a play! They can cut this lead down if they start converting more of their second points. I'm with you there. Yeah, but you wonder, where were those earlier? They're just hustling more now. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And back to Minnesota, they were the eighth seed in the East last year, but still finished six games under 500. Still a lot of work for them to get above 500 and be in a position where, Steve, they are, you know, competing for home court in the playoffs. Yeah, a lot of changes for the Bucks in the offseason, but uh, a team that but was able to sneak in last year. They're, they're hopeful to make it once again this season, uh, but it feels like they're kind of stuck in the middle right now. Outside Jackson. On to Takumbo, kicks to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Here's one up and Milwaukee, no good that time either. That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Tatum defended by Ande Takumbo. Here's Horson Vista. Takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the layup. Now it's just a three point Milwaukee lead. Milwaukee's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Elbow shot blocked. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. There's the lob to the hoop. Incredible timing on the alley oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. 20 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Pun Upton. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. The Bucks making a change here. Twelve seconds left in the second quarter. The feed to White. And he makes good on the way. And the Celtics lead by one. But the line give and take between these sides early. Kevin, how about six lead changes in this half already? Yeah, good one here, guys. This is going to be fun to watch, too.
to Anda Dacumbo. Kicks it out to Lillard. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three point play. That one is on holiday. Tremendous stuff from a guy Clark we think more of for his passing. Yeah, but he's got tremendous leaping ability and a surplus supply, too. Well, that's a great aggressive move and two big points, too. And free throw good from Lillard. You know, you think of what a typical Eastern Conference team plays like, and you often think of the Celtics. I mean, they like to slow it up. They'll play hard D and take their foul when they can. Still, the Celtics last year were just average when it came to playing the rest of the conference. Brown gets to Holland, and it's blocked. And, oh, here we go. Lillard's got it, the fast break chance. Middleton misses from close range. Going back to the Celtics, even as you said, Clark, they do all the things most Eastern Conference teams do well. They just couldn't keep it together, Steve, uh, to finish far above 500 in the East. Well, losing Rondo was a huge part of it uh, as they had to adjust their entire offense midway through the season. And I think a lot of it, too, is you know, the rest of the East has caught up to them, and time is, is finally catching up to them. And both free throws, good for White. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Lillard gets the screen for Middleton. Lillard dishes to Middleton. Hey, yo, that's for you. Now the pass to Ande Dacumbo. Blocked. Outside Holiday. Outside White. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Wow, this has been a thriller. I mean, the way these teams are battling, just going back and forth. Would you like to bet that this game may end on a buzzer beater? How much would you bet? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. The dish to White. Here's Motion just gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. He's got 12. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, he looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finisher. And we'd be remiss if we didn't also mention his supreme shot blocking. And he doesn't do it softly. He comes up with emphatic denials. The Bucks shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Well, they were 74% free throw shooting as a team last year so those numbers could come up yeah a, as a group really a dismal year for them from the line last season guys both free throws good from Andy Jacumbo you know it's always strange to see how a team will react when they lose one of their biggest stars last season Celtics were thought to be dead in the water when Rondo tore his ACL but they actually rallied and went on the winning streak after the injury Beasley the pass to Andy Jacumbo There's the pick. And Brown over to help. Feeds to Lillard. Clock at six. From deep three-point range, Milwaukee. No good that time either. Well, Clark, as you said, with Rondo and the Celtics, they would go on to win the next seven right after his injury. And overall, Steve played better than expected the rest of the way. Sometimes that's the way these things go, Kevin. A star player goes down, everybody else kind of steps up. And uh, instead of feeling sorry for themselves, they use it as a rallying cry. And all those role players for Boston really picked up the extra slack. And I thought they made a great push uh, to end that season after the Rondo injury. He passes it to Andre Jacumbo. Some solid defense from White. Celtics leading by three. Brown outside. A minute 42 left to play in the third. And Holiday kicks to Horford. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And it's six points for Al Horford. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. change here.
third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Lillard outside. Here's Beasley. Makes it off the glass. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. That's what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. More of the same. Get it inside. Bowser. And too long on the shot. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Beasley left side. Releases from the wing and drills it. And now just a one-point Boston lead. Boston's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. To the middle, here's Horsingis, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. They set the pick. Lillard from outside. That's good. Lillard's got eight here in the quarter. That's just a case of two teammates working perfectly together. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Tatum tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Easily outside. And another three for Milwaukee. They're six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. It should be easy to correct, though, if you start making the right rotations defensively. And the whistle blows is going to be on Daniel Lillard. That is his first foul of the game. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Holiday. Here's Horsingis. No good. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Bucks lead by three. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. How about the three-point shooting we're seeing so far, guys? Amazing. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been set up by assists throughout the game. White. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Ron, if you want to get better defensively, watch this guy play basketball because it's like a textbook. I mean, he's always in the right position. He anticipates things so well, and he's as good at taking charges as just about anybody in the league. You know, something else I think about when I see this guy is he's a real headache to have to defend one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's got all of the game that makes it tough for his defender. Lillard gets the screen for Middleton. Lillard dishes to Middleton, and there's the pass to Crowder. Milwaukee the rebound. Anga to Kumbo, kicks to Crowder. Passes to Lillard. He feeds it to Middleton. Pass to Anga to Kumbo. Gives him the lead pass. They swipe it. White gets to Holland. They set the pick. Off the pick. Rejected by Crowder. But he stays with it. It's Brown on the wing. Just five to shoot. Tatum. Misses the three. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lillard, the pass to Anda to Kumbo. He kicks it to Crowder. Unloads. And it's off the back rim. No good. Boston trailer. This is to Holiday. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Holiday left side. Tatum defended by Middleton. Brooke Lopez is checked in for under Tacumbo. Milwaukee's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Pass to Lillard. From the arc. 
It's hauled in by Brock. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off, and they take the lead. And the Celtics lead by one. What a great battle these teams are waging today. Yeah, you get the feeling, Steve, the game could swing on just one or two plays down the stretch. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. And it's blocked. Now, here's Lillard. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Zeldas have gone just one or six from the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Brown outside. Drills it from outside. So that's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Time I called the Bucks. They're down by four. 156 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Kevin, I got a chance to hear what head coach of the Bucks said to his team. He told them, guys, we're getting bogged down in the half court. Let's get out and run, see what's available in early offense. If there's nothing there, we can always back it out and run our sets. Good advice, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're up by two. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Tatum. And that one is stuffed right through. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. And those could be an important two points, too, guys, in a close game like this one. Three-pointer, Lillard, from beyond the arc, and then some. Lillard's got 11 in the second half. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Here's Wilson. This terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. And Lillard gets to Middleton. He dishes it to Lopez. And there's the feed to Middleton. Six to shoot. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. A big bucket there to quiet this crowd, Clark. You know, that's exactly what you got to do. Take them out of the equation. Make those fans be quiet. Yep, and that's exactly what he did. Wilson just can't get it to go. And Milwaukee the other way now. And Lillard gets to Middleton. Back to Lillard. From downtown. It's good from beyond the arc been a different guy in the second half guys his shooting percentage far better than it was before the break rejected by Middleton and I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here you know I think that's probably a smart move I think so too takes it to Lillard takes the three can't hit Boston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter Right side, Holiday. Justin, no good that time either. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Then they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're losing by five. Twelve seconds left to play in the final quarter. They get it. Tries to keep it alive. The rebound by Middleton. 
And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Milwaukee making a switch here. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Here's Holiday. Off the mark. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard.